Okay, I'm recording this video to show you how you can use uh, MATLAB and use a flowchart to construct a roulette game, the spinning wheel in casinos. So as you can see here, you can roll and then you can you can pick a number and then if the roller happen to fall on that place, if it's between 1 and 36, you make 35 more money. So if you put every dollar on that place, you gain 34, 35 more dollars. Then if you pick, a, uh, you can pick actually, there are four types of playing here, four types of bet. There is a single bet. You can pick dozen, like from 1 to 12, to, to again, the second 12, which is going to be from 13 to 24, and the third 12, is which is going from um, 25 to 36. You can have the first from 1 to 18, or the high, the high or low, or you can have odd or even. So there are different ways that you can play this game. Now on the flow chart, what I have, I said that, okay, read, start, read the bet and how much money they want to bet. Then roll the dice. If this is yes, give them the payout. If no, give them, tell them to you lost money. Again, this is very simplistic types of flow chart that you can come to your mind. As types of for coding, we do it line by line. Like in the beginning, we have clear and then CLC. Display, welcome to Engineering 125 Casino. Money, input how much money do you want to bet in dollars. Then tell us the type. The type would be, tell me what types of bet for singles, enter one, for dozen, enter two, for odd or even, enter three, and for low and high or enter four. So right now, I'm just working on type one, and then I will add the rest of them as I go in. So if type is equal to one, I put I use a variable, I call it single. I did not put the E at the end. Sometimes if you put single with the E, that could be a name of function in MATLAB and then your computer get confused. So single is equal to input, enter your bit for a single number between one and 36, then end. Uh, then roll, roll the dice. Right now I roll the dice and the dice happen between one to 38. I use between 1 to 38 because you have 1 0 and 1 2 double 0. This function, this line f print f is going to print the low roller number and I put if type is equal to 1 and then single is equal to roll meaning that your bet is the same as what the roller fall in then the payout will be 35 times and your money, you put $5, and then I give you 35 times that $5, your money become 36 times. Otherwise, your money becomes zero, display you lost, and try again. So, so far, I just work on type 1. Let's work on type 2. So, if person select type 2, if type is equal equal to 2. What we have in type 2? In the type 2 we have the person needs to okay if type is equal to 2 then I have to actually have one, one more input here. Sorry before even I going down here I should be up there. If the person type 2 I need to ask him for more enter. So person said that he want to bet on a dozen, right? So I want to say that if you want to bet on a dozen, I'm going to say dozen. Is it, this is going to be the number that he's going to enter. Please enter your, your bet for the first dozen. So the first dozen is 1 to 12. So 1 to 12, the person enter 1 for second dozen. Second dozen is actually go from 13 to 24. From 13 to 24, enter 2 and 4 third dozen and then I'm going to be clear to that person meaning that if you want to go from 25 to 36 then enter 
3. So now in type 2, you see I do it like line by line. I do it type by type. So I don't do all the code in once. So I, I just do it step by step. If the type is 2 and then the person pick a dozen. Now how can I know the role is between this dozen or not? So I need to actually process the role and I need to find something. So the thing that I want to find, I want to find the role for if, if again, we find the remainder, right? So we can say, um, in it's, I'm going to call this one role dozen. That's what you select. And this is actually what roller give me. Role dozen is equal to remainder of whatever came here. Okay. Remainder whatever came here between uh, if the remainder is the remainder of role and again I have to have something a uh, remainder of role and 12 okay if the remainder role dozen will be remainder of role and 12 so what do I mean like for instance in this case you see let me just do role again the role was 20 okay so what would be remainder of the 20 and 12 I'm not looking actually for remainder. I need to divide that by that. So let's divide roll by 20, roll by 12. And then should I do a floor or ceiling for this case? Do you remember floor and ceiling or no? And we have round in the numbers. So if I do floor, Floor of 20 and 12. What would be number? Sorry, floor of 20 divided by 12. So the floor is 1, right? And then the ceiling is... I forgot how we show the ceiling. Yeah, ceiling, you, you just use seal. Okay, if the ceiling, I'm going to use the ceiling, number for ceiling of 20 divided by 12. And the ceiling is 2. It sounds completely good. Let me just do, try with something else. If I put 1 and 12, the ceiling is 1. If I put 12 and 12, the ceiling is still 1. If I use 13 and 12, the ceiling become 2. If I use uh, 25, the ceiling become 3. If I use 36, the ceiling become 3. If I use 37, the ceiling become 4. So that's perfect. So now this is actually give me, if I use the ceiling here, this is going to give me the dozen. Okay, so now I can actually write the code for that. So roll dozen, this is going to give me the roll dozen. Then I can actually have a, a, a printer for that too. If print, but again, you know the roll dozen, what's happening. The roll dozen. Roll dozen. So... I'm going to repeat the same thing. I have the code here. Let's copy this and paste it here. So if type is equal to 2 and the dozen that person select, right? That's the dozen that person select. This is the dozen the person input. It's the same as roll dozen. If the dozen is equal to Roll dozen. So give that person two times of his money and then otherwise tell him you lost. So are you ready to try type two? So I'm gonna save and run it. So you can ask me bet in dollar, I'm gonna bet ten dollar. Okay, what time? This time I wanna do type two. And then the question asks me enter your bet for the first dozen one, the second dozen uh 
press 2 and the third dozen press enter 3 so I'm gonna actually select the third dozen so go for it so now uh, the roll was at 6 right my dozen was 3 the roll was at 6 the roll is at 6 the roll dozen is 1 and then the money is 0 you lost and you try again so I can actually repeat this code going on so in this case I have else still is type is equal to 1 or I can just put else if type is equal to 1 and this I see the the code is repeating something that's why I need to I guess to add this one to it Okay, how much money you want to bet? I want to bet $20 and I want to bet it in type 2. Okay, I want to bet it in the first dozen. There you go. I bet in the first dozen. The money is 0, the roll dozen is 3. You lost and try again. So, so far I have two types of it working. So, if I want to add the type 3, which is odd or even, we already did other even code, right? So I can actually go there and then copy that. So again, I'm going to copy this and then place it here. If the type is three, if the person bet for odd or even, please bet your press your bet for for odd at. Enter one and for even enter two. So I have type three here, then I can go there and then I find the type three. Uh, what I could do in this case, I don't need to go and, and then find what's happening. Either that's odd or that even, I can just simply type it here. So down here, I'm going to copy this code and then type it here. If the type is 3 and the remainder okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell him that if um, again, you can, you can continue that but I have to a little bit clarify this before I go ahead I have to have a function showing whether this is odd or even so I can add it here so type 3 then you see down here I have roll dozen I can say roll odd is equal to so if the roll is odd you can say I'm gonna have if function here if remainder of roll and my remainder of roll and two is equal equal to one. Okay, if this is one, then I can say roll odd is equal to one. Otherwise, else I don't know how to name them, right? I'm gonna just odd even roll odd even one. Otherwise roll odd even equal to 2 and then end here so this actually little little loop this little condition we tell us whether the roll is on an odd number or is on uh, is will be odd or even so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one here so where I have type 2 already copied it I'm gonna say type 3 if okay the person give me a value so for his input so in input I call that again okay, I did not even type 3 enter odd or even I use those in here right I have to call that one odd even I have to use different thing sorry I copy paste that's why I have it like I'm gonna copy paste this one onto the code so if you are getting confused right now uh, you I, I'm gonna go over that and 
again you have it there into your um, so if this type 3 and then is equal to roll odd and even just give him the payout as his money right and then here type has to be 3 so right now we are done with these three types so are you ready to play the game Okay, anybody who wants to put a bet, put the bet in the chat box. Okay, like for instance, if you want to bet for any of the first type. 2216, okay. Some people, I'm going to paste this. Let me just to save and run this. I already save and run it. I'm going to say like 20. Then, um, how much money? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bet into... Uh, number 20, like again, I'm going to bet in number 3, odd or even. Then set that for odd, press 1. And then, yeah, there you go, guys, I won. I put $20 again, $40. I put odd or even. So you can, this is going to be lots of fun. I'm going to copy this code, put it in, again, I'm not going to put it in the chat box. For now, I'm going to put it in back into or a spreadsheet for here. Uh, and then put uh, I'm gonna copy again this is the code that we wrote uh, please complete the type 4 too okay so right now type 1 type 2 type 3 is ready just you need to add type 4 to it and then I'm also adding the flowchart to that too 